Hi, I'm Brent Ramsey, Technical Advisor for Canon USA. And today I'm here to talk to you about the two latest additions to Canon's line of Cinema EOS cameras, the EOS C200 and the EOS C200B. The C200 models are part of the third generation of the Cinema EOS system. What's up everybody, this is Michael from Detail in the Shadow. Um, just want to talk about a new development coming in from Canon Camera, uh, the new EOS C200, EOS C200B. Something I'm really excited about, um, internal 4K recording with 13 stops of dynamic range. You hear me talk a lot about dynamic range. Uh, I'm really big on that. That's what's, it, that's what's really makes an image, you know, all the stops between the lightest and darkest tone. Uh, that's what really Really fools the eye into creating a, a magnificent image that's right there on your screen. Um, along with a, a long line of EOS cameras, the EOS cinema cameras now, um, you have the C700, the C500, the C100, and they started off with their uh, C100 and the EOS uh, 1DC. Um, it's uh, basically all cinema cameras um, dedicated to e making the market open for for uh, shooters who want to shoot uh, very high quality movie footage without um, breaking off the 50 grand or so just to do so. And one thing I had mentioned here, um, it's a, a versatile 4K production. It's all in camera, so you don't have to buy any external, any anything external to shoot 4K. It shoots 4K all internal, and it has that um, 8.4 Super 35 sensor with 13 stops of dynamic range. Uh, that's really good for a camera that's coming in below 10K. And it's coming with a Super 35 sensor, like I mentioned, uh, I believe it's around 8 megapixels, which um, they say that the 4K 8.4 is getting closer and closer to film. That's one thing. Uh, also, I wanted to talk about um, these digital cameras are coming closer and closer to film. Not saying film is irrelevant, not saying film will be phased out. Hopefully, I mean film forever, in, in my opinion. But uh, for less than 10 grand, you can get something that has the film look, which is actually a film look. Is um, That's really amazing. Like I mentioned, that, that 13 and a half stops of dynamic range that comes in handy when you want to uh, make things that are blown out and corral them or make things that are too dark in the shadows give them that detail in the shadow uh, that's what the 13 and a half stops of dynamic range is really good for and plus all the resolution that you get from the uh, 4k shooting um, multiple different platforms you know pro res uh, raw it shoots raw that's amazing you can you can pull all sorts of detail out of a raw image a raw file and here they just run through um, the different, um, um, not aspect ratios, but the different uh, file sizes that you get with the different settings. They have 4K, 4K UHD, um, 2K DCI, and 1080 Full HD. And one thing that's good I see is the multi um, multi interface on the uh, file writing. So you can have a compact flash card, or you can have an SD card, and uh, they're going to have to be very very fast. Um, but you won't have to buy the solid state external recorder. You won't have to buy any fast cards. You won't have to have any kind of special interface with your computer. It's all simple and easy and ready to go. And the C200 naturally is very versatile. You can just have it as a simple handheld setup, or you can have all the jib, the crane, the uh, gimbals, and all the stabilization, steady cams that uh, to your heart's content. It's um, I'm really excited about this product. Uh, it's one thing that I'm going to be looking for in the future. Um, you know, you made it with those nice Canon L lenses or those nice Canon Cine lenses, and you have a really good all-in internal um, all inside all in camera uh, 4k setup and finally I will link in the description box some of the footage that they've taken um, you know some stock footage that Canon um, dot com has posted on their website and I will post all the links down in my description box um, thanks everybody and uh, if you haven't already please like and subscribe uh, give the video a thumbs up and share with uh, other folks that you think might be interested in uh, cinema cameras and thank you